welcome back to another episode of Blade Runner Enhanced Edition. Now, I'm pretty excited to get back here because I'm not entirely sure what's actually going on. <laughs> I kind of took a break a little bit, so I didn't really have enough time to come back here. So now, uh, we're just about to get back into the scene. Uh, we got to see what he's actually doing in here because, like I said, not a lot's been said here. Not a lot's been said. Stick around. I might want to talk to you later. Okay, so we need to head back out here. I'm guessing we need to talk back to the chef and see what's actually going on here, because, um... A lot can be said here, but we haven't really exactly had any particular talks with the chef itself, so we see need to do these Oh, okay, so we don't have to talk to him now. Like, we now have to head back, uh... And see if there's any particular maps that are open up until now. So, let's see. So, Chinatown's completely off. I think we can need to head to the police station now. Because now we got to do some uh, research and we got to see where exactly where we're about to be heading now. Because I think we have all the evidence, we have all the clues we have. So, now we just need to paste things together now I'm still having a hard what I'm still having a hard time with is trying to find the place we need to um, check that casing and what type of weapon was used um, during that time so I think we need laboratory to... ground floor lockup ground floor mainframe and shooting range laboratory laboratory I think that's where we need to go we need to head towards the laboratory. Uh, let's talk. You got anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. The shell casings from Runciter should be in the Museum of Military History. How's that? They're from an Ender rifle. It's standard issue off-world military hardware. Ooh. Heavy caliber. That puppy can punch right through a tank. Oh, what shit. What can I conclude from that? Whoever used this piece didn't just walk into their local sporting goods store and buy it. Those babies are collectibles, and they ain't cheap. High caliber hardware weaponry? On animals? Doesn't that seem a bit odd to y'all? Huh. Weird. Anything else? We got the animal corpses from Runcidus, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. So... Runsitter was ripping his customers off. State of the art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Well, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Meat cleavers. Anything else? Zip man, dry me later. Alright. So it looks like nothing much. Let's go inside real quick. So, judging by everything that's been happening up until now, it almost seems like every single piece together. These guys were definitely into, and I'm just saying this right now, not only is it animal cruelty, but these guys, I think, were illegally skinning and I think killing other animals. But there has to be something else that I'm missing because I don't want to make a conclusion just yet. I need to see how we're going to deal with this. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to head back. Because we need to go and talk to Rupture about the fact of his, Rude. one, his scandal. His scandaling, that's one. Two, we also need to make sure that we pretty much conclude the amount of animals that were actually in there. Because if some of the bone marrow was fake, at least some of them. That would definitely mean that he, def there was definitely not that many animals in there that they killed. There was at least a few. So, and then also, 
he must have literally had like fake animals planted in there because there's no way in hell they attacked real animals and then fake animals at the same time. There has to be a reason why they would just chase after both. There has to be some reason. Let's talk to him. See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. What you got here? Here you are. All right. We got something here. So basically, corpse shell casing. What else he gave us? Because I wasn't paying attention. So pretty much the evidence still stands for the majority of these. Um. White dog, chopping wrapper, reference letter. Let's check if there's any particular ones that are not replicants. And the reference letter. The reference letter is the one, one that's interesting. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. Hmm. Let's move back up here. See if there's any more evidence that we may be missing. There's got to be some type of evidence we're missing at this point, because if they're just leaving evidence behind and not really doing much, then yeah, it would be sanctuary and unnecessary. Let's go back to the lab and try to at least scale the evidence that we have currently right now at least for now because hopefully um he'll give us something of a clue because as far as all my well yeah this man is really on the bad side right now and i feel bad for him but not really at the same time let's see what is this find something piece of chrome from a car no i think it's horse chrome bag it and tag it horse chrome strange so a horse chrome on a animal slaughter see that doesn't make sense see where that's not adding up I'm heading back to the police station Something ain't adding up, guys. I don't like this. You have literally all this evidence right then and there, and all of a sudden, they're just half of them are just not around. Mainframe and shooting range. Mainframe. Laboratory. Let's head back to the laboratory and see what he's up to, because he may have got some evidence for us. At this point. Anything else? A piece of chrome you found outside of Runcidus is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice mm. set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. 1995 Pontiac. Huh, no wonder they mention, mention horse chrome. Anything oh. else? Zip, man. Try me later. Alright. Let's head back to the mainframe real quick and check out what we got here. Because there's some stuff that mainframe we need to check in. and shooting range. The Tyrell Corporation today recalled the last four functioning entertainment model Nexus 5 replicants from off-world service. Dr. Eldon Tyrell, speaking at a shareholders meeting, denied allegations that the model was defective and possibly dangerous. The simple fact is that the model wasn't performing its designated function. There was one isolated incident of violence a couple of years ago, but the individual... Alright. Let's go... Scanning video disc. Two enhanceable images found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Let's take a look at them. Crime scene. Let's see. Two particular men, both very bi big, of course, but. 
here's something that's a bit weird. Three, all the animals right here and this one right here, it almost seems like the majority of them were cased, but none of them killed. Because remember what I said about before, some of the bones were fake. What if this one was fake completely? You don't think he was putting fake animals into the market, but somebody else caught him on it. Now, who would that be? Hmm. Interesting. Let's see if we can go back real quick. You see what we're dealing with here. Run setter, crime scene. There's the animals up here, and there's one right here. Hmm. All of them killed, yet, one of them missing. Isn't that weird? Hmm. I wouldn't say that would be the uh, issue at that point. Hmm. Alright. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Okay. Let's get in. They only showed the two photos? Weird. Huh. I guess they only showed the two photos, I guess. Nah, I think we have every everything that we need at this point. Let's keep, let's keep things moving. So, okay. So, as far as I can tell, steel audio recording. Describe them to me again. Just the Rastafarian fellow, and that that friend of his, a slim blonde man, Asian with with a ponytail. Can I see my attorney? Bravo, Spencer. You've done your civic duty for the day. Hmm. And then how we leave for any other interview. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Interesting. <sighs> so the majority of them would have actually basically ran off if that was going to be the case. Because one of them would have actually needed some help. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. I think that's about it. I got Oh, that's how you take out the gun. Hello. <laughs> it's only relying on two of these. Weird. Oh. It is. Oh. Not right now. Okay. Let's, uh. Let's get back. I'm trying to figure out how to get back here, because. I'm trying to figure out my way out of here. <laughs> they won't let me leave this part for some odd reason. I can't go back? Oh, shit. There we go. Now I figured it. Now I found it. Okay, is there any other place I need to go? Oh, right here. Alright, so that's the uh, mainframe room. Well, this, if it ain't Ray McCoy, Brian finally let you play with the big boy. My clearance come through? You bet. You bring your piece? Don't leave home without it. Steele's been running the maze every other day for two weeks. And the targets are getting a little roughed up. I thought Guza was going to requisition some new ones. I ain't seen him down here in a month. I guess he's been busy. Poor guy. I bet he gets all tuckered out from pushing those papers around. And don't sell him short, McCoy. <laughs> Guza could be one tough hombre. I remember when we worked nice together. He poured acetone on two pimps that gave us some lip and lit a match. 
<laughs> I'm telling you, it looked like the goddamn Fourth of July out there. <laughs> Peachy. Fucking crazy. Absolutely crazy. That's nuts. Well, now that we got everything in place. Roof, laboratory, mainframe, ground floor. Hmm, it be somewhere on the ground floor. Let's take a look. We have to go down here, apparently. <sighs> I will say, though, there's a lot to comprehend here. A lot of mystery in this, too. Kind of interested. I'm not going to hold you guys. This is actually really interesting. Another one on the ground floor. We can go see what we're uh, getting ourselves into. There gotta be other things that we can look for in order to solve this case, because to do men that we basically ran into, it just seems like it would be odd to literally all of a sudden not have that many, but yeah, that was just rough. But let's talk to him and see what we got. Ryan, go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant? You know the procedure. Dump it all in the mainframe upstairs and I'll read it later. You got it. Well, I already did it, so I'm going to head back out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to head to my apartment. I'm going to see if there's anything going on over there, but it might skip to either another cutscene or I'm going to have to skip to the next day. That's probably the only thing I can really do at the moment. We'll see, though. Because I might as well head back to my apartment. <laughs> so much into this game, and I'm actually fully, fully interested. But, uh... How's your guys' day? Everything going good so far for everyone? A lot of things have been pretty, uh, pretty rough this week. I know, for sure. Ground floor. I'm heading to the roof real quick. Because I'm heading back to my apartment. We're gonna have to, he's gonna have to read it the next day anyway. I'm going back to my own apartment for this crap. Oh, oh boy. Is it spread out anywhere else? Huh? Is it back to our apartment? I'm sorry, my brain is still on that still. Like, how how do you sell fake animals? And I'm not talking about just plushies in general. Your floor number, please. Wait, I have to... Apartments. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. So my question is still... I with the best gal I'd ever seen. She was two now and full of life and love. She'd cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. It was good to have someone warm nearby after completing a dirty job. And the retirement swag from this case would go toward getting her a partner. Oh. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. That's adorable. Well, I'm heading here. See if there's a shower. Might as well hit the hay. Here's my bed. See if there's a shower in here. Might as well hit the showers before I do. I wonder if the bathroom works. Portrait of the sleep deprived. Like I said, we'll go and see. We gotta go see him in the morning anyway. So. 
Gotta see if he uh, finally cracked the case a little. Let's, uh, let's head out. Head to the police station and see if there's anything else, but. I cracked this case wide open. Your floor number, please. Apartment roof. A lot can happen in the space of a minute, especially when uh, you're not really looking. I don't really trust a cybernetic town like this. It's full of sinister, bad places, you know? It can get pretty, pretty rough sometimes. Not all the time, though. It can happen every once in a while. It just depends on who you basically run into in this town, I guess. Let's head back to the police station. For an enhanced version, this is not a bad game, like I said. Like, it's super, super, super good. I, I wouldn't even be surprised by that. Laboratory. Ground floor. Uh, let's head ground floor. Because we, like we said, we got to check with him and see if uh, there was any particular sets. Hey, Before we do. We got to head into his office and see if he's gotten anything. But like I said, I don't know what the ulterior motive might be until we literally speak to him about it. Because a lot of the stuff in the mainframe I found can be key evidence. We have to be very, very like careful about these things. Especially some of the stuff that was mentioned in the interviews and some of the stuff that was already in there, like some of the personal files and some of the pictures that we already like put in. The description already fits it, so it would be very, very obvious that that would be the case. Let's see if he got anything. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. We'll get back out there. Those reps ain't retiring themselves. Yeah, suicidal targets would make my job a lot easier. Everybody's got a job, kid. All right, that's fine then. I guess I have to go to uh to the laboratory and see if there was actually anything like particularly done because I'm mean, like I said we haven't really checked any particular part of the evidence that was already in and as far as we can be concerned like we couldn't even find the bare minimum of half of the evidence that we had and wait a minute did you say Asian man? hold up that reminds me I need to go back to that restaurant something doesn't seem right I don't want to make any, like I said, I don't want to make any assumptions, but still. Laboratory. Roof. Mainframe. And shooting. Laboratory. Let's head to the laboratory. We got to see what he has in store for us right Anything now. Anything else? Zip man. Try me later. Okay, nothing. Okay, that's fine. I figured we didn't really have much from him yet. Um. Roof. Let's head to the place again and see if maybe we can get something out of him, but... Like I said, half of the stuff and half of the evidence that we had wasn't really exactly in the same place. So, I'm gonna head back to the city and uh, we'll head back to straight to Chinatown right now. All right, let's head back in here, see what he's up to. Stick around, I might want to talk to you later. Mm, nothing to talk to him about, huh? All right. Here, 
you're a pretty smart looking cat. Wanna make some money? Pay me large, you got my rest attention. Depends on how much the information's worth. Unfortunately, my man, I got a book. Dynamite dining, old man. Catch you later. Something doesn't seem right about that man. Me? Dr. Howie. See you later, Howie. Oh, okay, never mind. We don't really have to talk to Howie either. Mm. Is there any way we can head out here someplace? That's where we're at. Mm, probably not. Uh, well, like I said, I'm gonna have to end it here, actually. I'm gonna have to end it here. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this. We've made a lot of progress here. So, um, I will tune in with y'all a little later. Uh, this has been that, guys. Later. Bye.